Hello guys, in today's video I'll be talking about uh, a hyperelastic model. It's called the uh, Aruda Boys. This is a very famous uh, hyperelastic model has been applied in many areas. It's also available in WellSim. So let's check the version of the WellSim is 1.9. And uh, before we start a new project, uh, let's check the unit. It's US customary in inch. Okay, and then let's start a new project. Since it's a nonlinear material, we need to create a new material for this geometry for the analysis. Then we create a new material and double click, uh, then go to the editing mode, and click the build tab, then click uh, the hyperelastic section, and we can see the Aruda boys in the first one. Toggle it, and then we need to input the three parameters here. Okay, uh, since we're familiar with uh, this. Pascal unit. Uh, we got these uh, parameters from the material menu. We put 1.33 E5 and we let uh, the stretching, the limit to network stretching must be uh, equal or larger than 1. So let's make it a 1. Uh, incompressibility, uh, incompressibility parameter must be a positive number. Uh, usually it's very small, so let's set. 4.3 10 to the negative 6 okay so as we input all these parameters and then we see um, there are some nonlinear curves generated on the graphic window it's a graphic this curves is a full strain and a stress relation okay close this editing mode and uh, let's rename this object uh, Ruda Boys mat mat okay uh, now we create a new geometry we we'll just use this a simple geometry for the demo but uh, for the complete geometry we still can apply the same thing same uh, principle and uh, procedures now very important step we need to assign the material to this body so we click the material property and select uh, a root boys mat Let's uh, we assign the material. Now for the mesh, we set to the maximum element size 0.3 inch, and I will use a quadratic element. Click the mesh. Okay. Now we impose two boundary conditions. The first one, we impose on this end. The constraint, we impose the here, and the constraint on the left side and impose the displacement on the right side and we give uh, this is uh, displacement on z direction set uh, 3 inch okay so then uh, since it's a nonlinear analysis uh, we set the sub steps to 10 it uh, can sometimes can help the convergence so yeah that's it let's click the solve button Now, since solve is down, and let's add some material objects. So we add one deformation. And we want to look at the deformation on the z direction and uh, how many steps. Since uh, we added 10 some steps, and then we generated the result for a different time from 0 to 1. So the last one is set number 10. Let's add 10. Okay. Then we also have a uh, reaction force for this one. Uh, we would know the, where is our constraint? Okay, we would know the reaction force on the constraint area. Okay, then set the number 10. Then the, the force that we set, then we'll move the force on Z direction. Okay, let's evaluate. The definition, yeah. It's uh, from 0 to 3. No, it's uh, I need to change the set number to 10. So it's uh, maximum on the right hand, on the right side is 3 inch, match our boundary condition. Then value to the stress. So we see uh, it's a range between 2.7, 10 to the 1, and uh, 
the maximum value could be 41 and something. Then the most of the, the values will be, this is orange color, it could be like a 37 or 38 PSI. And uh, for the reaction force on this constraint area, we get the reaction force is about uh, negative 36 pound. Okay, and considering the cross section is one by one, so the area will be one inch square, then we can tell this reaction force is much of the stretch. Very close. So, yeah, that's it. Um, so in this video, we reviewed how to create a, a, a root of boys material and assign to body and calculate its nonlinear analysis. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know. Thanks for watching. Bye.